Got any plans for the weekend? How about a trip to Mars? Would you go? I could never make it. Joe I would, would go. Need, He's yeah. on record. I wouldn't. Too much drama, mean for me. Speaking, <laughs> <laughs> meteorologist Byron Morton is about to induce you to some scientists at UNM working to make Shelley's travel plans to Mars <laughs> and our entire solar system faster. <laughs> Martian, Matt Damon does what many of us have always dreamed of, visiting the red planet. I'm alive. Surprise. <laughs> but it took him years to get to Mars. Imagine getting there this weekend. That's right, Earth to Mars in just a matter of days. You can cut your travel time to Mars to less than a week. Craig Davidson of Dark Seas Industries is working closely with UNM professor Peter Vodobiev to make that a reality. Breaking up space travel into two stages. We could use a chemical rocket or even an air breathing engine like uh, turbojet as the first stage. Then, for the second stage, once the spaceship reaches the edge of Earth's atmosphere, they would use the sun's solar wind to propel the ship quickly through space. This is a mocked up prototype of what they will use to test their theory. The coils around the clear pillow and the sun's solar wind will work together using electromagnetism to speed the spacecraft. Peter and Craig say our current technology is slow and wastes energy. We're talking about a technology which is, well, 70 years old, give or take. This new technology could make traveling around our solar system from Earth to Mars or even Mars to Jupiter super fast and very efficient. Reporting from Planet Earth, Byra Morton. This is a completely different philosophy. This is sailing. KOAT Action 7 News. He's on Planet Earth now. Peter and Craig are hoping to launch a prototype to space next year. Well, October is National.